guys, um, this is Ben Tutorials, and I am back. I have not made a uh, video in, uh, what, eight months? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just kind of got out of making tutorials for a while. But I decided to make a new one, and I'm going to try to make them more frequent, because I have uh, 56 subscribers now. So, um, my most viewed video is this one, which has over 4,000 views, which is what I'm really happy about. But on with the tutorial. So today we're going to be applying two-dimensional objects onto a 3D surface, which basically will, uh, you'll, you'll see, I'm gonna put a few logos and a, you know different uh, stuff on this truck that I have here. I've also made a preview sample right here, which is I took an empty room right here, which is this image right here. I took this image of a basic room and I covered it up with my own images I put it even put a rug in there which is pretty cool and it all these are all two-dimensional images that I flattened onto the surface so it's a pretty cool technique to learn so first I'm going to start off with putting this Ben's trucking on this truck right here now the main thing that you have to do and the main thing you have to learn is the distort tool. Now, you can press Q until you get this little icon over here, which is the distort. The sister tools are the resize or scale tool and the skew tool. We're going to use the distort tool today. So basically what the main idea of adding uh, this 2D image onto the 3D surface there, is basically we're going to drag this corner into each of these corners of the truck that we want to place this on. So I drag them up into the corner. Now right now it looks pretty bad, but the second I do this, it'll look as if it was actually on that truck. So as you can see, if you didn't realize this, it could look like that in real life. Now it does look a little black. If you compare this black to that black, it's a lot lighter. It doesn't have the same texture. So I'm just going to lower the opacity down just a little, raise it up. So now it looks a little bit more realistic, as if I had my own little trucking company. Now what you can do is you can tweak it a little, so it will look a little bit more realistic. The whole idea is keeping the blue line and the black line and the uh, edge of the truck all parallel. So it's a little tricky to get perfect. But hey, it's not a 3D program. It's not meant for it. But you get the basic idea. So that turned out pretty good. I've made better ones in the past, but it looks pretty good. So I'm going to drag that off to the side now. Say if we wanted to add this little gradient on there to make it a cool gradient truck for whatever reason. Now the thing that you have to know about gradients, when you skew gradients, I'll show you an example. When you skew them, the gradient moves along with it, which is not what you want. You want it to be stable. So watch, if I were to skew this off to the left, it wouldn't drag the gradient over, it would just continue as if the gradient was standing still. So what you have to do is you have to flatten it. Now before you flatten any type of text gradient or anything, you want to make sure that the biggest edge is bigger than your surface, which it is make sure that there's no distortion so you want to press Q till you get your distort tool and then you drag again into the corners here just like this I'm just going to adjust a little so I'm going to zoom in Make sure I get that line there perfect. Drag it down. Move this in just a little. Okay. So as you can see, it looks like the truck now actually has a real gradient on it. You can do a little bit better job, but I'm just uh, doing this really quick just to show you the basics of it. So again, you can always make it a little bit lighter to make sure the colors look a little bit more, more natural and have a little grid in it or whatever those little ripples that are on the truck. 
so that's um, adding a gradient to that. So the next thing is adding a 3D or just a logo in general. So you're gonna put this logo somewhere like on the center of the truck right there. So I'm gonna take my skew tool again, bring it down so I match the edge. And you always wanna make sure that this line right here is vertical or vertical with or parallel with the other edge. You can use guidelines if you want to be really exact. You don't have to. So there you go. There's now that looks like if that was almost on there. It doesn't look quite round, so I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna bring this edge in a little. Just a little. It's a little more round. Maybe come down. A little bit more realistic and of course you can lower down your passage just a little so as if that was a go to auto truck now i didn't make that logo i just downloaded that on google images just to get a random logo so that's basically applying that image right there and over here if it loads is the white house right here i made a little text thing that says white house up here now I see that this used a lot in like uh, web 2.0 images. They want to make this like 3D, like popping out of it. That's another thing you can also do in fireworks. Say I wanted to come out of that column right there and pop out as if you're looking at it from this direction. So in order to do that, we take our skew tool again and we'll line it up with that column. that I have to zoom out here just so I have a bigger view I'm gonna bring us in make it a little bit bigger on these ends so now when I zoom back in it'll look as if you were it was, it was a random sign slightly transparent sign that was sticking out of the White House almost if you're looking back you know, from this direction. I don't know, I've seen that a lot in like some videos where the, the, the scheme will be moving and it'll just be stuck on that one column. You need a better video editing program for that, but that's how you do it 2D. And again, so um, you use the skew tool and you just match up the edges. Now I'm going to go back to this image for a second. So I'm going to press Q here and I'm actually going to go down to my scale tool. Say I wanted to put this in a little logo in the corner. Now watch what happens when you move it. It'll look all distorted and it won't look as if it was part of it. As you see, a real 3D program will actually make it smaller and then bigger over here. It doesn't really work with a 3D, so you have to adjust everything manually. I'm going to zoom in a little right here and go back to my distort tool. Oh, that was the wrong tool, but... <laughs> So again, you just stretch it up, stretch it out a little, so it'll match your edges. Just want to make sure everything's nice and vertical. Now when you zoom back out, it'll look as if it was actually there, and it won't look all the story. When you move it over there, you're going to have to make it smaller, and you know, whatever. So you have to adjust it from where it actually is. Everything has to be parallel. That's the big thing. So, you know, you can bring that back up here if you wanted. And then, then it's tricky. <laughs> and we'll put it on top. And then that will just drag. So, um, there you go. Just a little applying 2D images to a 3D surface. Hope to see you guys soon in my next tutorial. See you guys later.